Bluefin makes them available in the U.S., so get your SH Monster Arts at Big Bad Toy Store at the link in the description down below. Kaiju, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello there collectors, it's Steven here and I'm going to bring you a little bit of a different video today. I've never truly made a top 5 list for action figures, so today we're going to do my top 5 favorite SH Monster Arts figures, because for whatever reason there are some folks who think that I just purely hate this line, when that is far, far from the truth. So without any further ado, let's break it down and jump into my top 5 favorite SH Monster Arts figures. At number five, we're gonna go ahead and list the SH Monster Arts Godzilla birth version. This is going to be a repaint of the original Godzilla 1995 or Burning Godzilla release, and I have to say this is one that has captivated plenty of collectors due to the fact that this is basically going to be the definitive Heisei Godzilla action figure with plenty of points of articulation, a nice accessory, and overall the quality control on this figure is rather top notch. The initial production run on this figure did have a couple of loose joints, but to be honest with you, even though mine has it, it's not something that completely detracts tracks from the figure. Now do keep in mind that a reissue of this figure did happen and it does not have that blue wash that the original release has. I do not own that reissue, at least a non-repainted one anyway, into a customized version of the Imperial Godzilla. So what I can say to that is even though I don't have it, I've seen pictures of it, it's still just as good. So taking the number five spot is Godzilla Birth Version. Number four is not going to be a Godzilla figure, it is actually going to be the first Gamera released in the line and it is going to be Gamera 1996. Gamera here is fantastic because it comes with a nice variety of effect parts and it is well articulated. It has some great paint applications and, uh, well, the scaling's pretty good. Wish it was a little bigger. But uh, one of the big drawbacks for this figure is going to be some quality control issues with the plastron on it because it can be a bit fiddly. But that aside, the figure not only looks nice, it has some amazing paint applications, and this was the breath of fresh air the SH Monster Arts line needed at the time when it was beginning to go downhill in terms of quality control. And then after this release, it just kind of hit the bottom of the barrel, and it slowly working the way back up to the top which you can do it you can do it anyway for the number four spot we have Gamera Number three should come as no surprise to seasoned veterans of Godzilla collecting because the figure is just that good. Even though I'm displaying one version of it here, you cannot be wrong with any three releases of it, and that's going to be the SH Monster Arts Kiyu. Here I specifically chose the Shinagawa Final Battle version just because I do feel that it is going to be the strongest release of the three. That's my personal opinion, you can have a different one, that's fine, but still all three are equally awesome and amazing. This one in particular I like because it comes with the Absolute Zero Chest Explosion Cannon, which is very amazing. We're going to have some awesome articulation, it's going to come with a full lower out, so this way it has its backpack and nearly all of the associated weapons. Two out of three of them come with battle damage or extra parts, so this way you can recreate some awesome scenes. The paint application is pretty much always going to be top notch, and some added die cast really adds some weight to the figure. Overall, whether you're going to get the original Tokyo SOS or the repaint of the original, you can't go wrong with Kiyu.
Number two is a humongous throwback to the beginning of the SH Monster Arts line, and it really is a testament to how awesome this figure is. Space Godzilla. The articulation isn't necessarily over the top amazing, but you can put him in ton of fun poses. He comes with an awesome effect part, which you don't necessarily need the stand for, but that stand in and of itself is amazing as is because he can always use some crystals. The paint scheme on this guy, though not accurate, is pretty sweet, and those translucent shoulder crystals are awesome. Space Godzilla, unfortunately, though, in some aspects has some quality control issues as reported by some folks, with some saying that the paint has scraped off the crystals, and mine in particular has a rather loose right hand, but you know what? At the end of the day, this one looks awesome, and it really has been executed rather well. Space Godzilla for me takes the second spot. Coming in at number one should be a surprise to nearly, uh, well, maybe half of you watching, and it is going to be Biolante. Not necessarily due to the fact that she is an overall amazing figure, but due to the fact that she simply exists. This is a large figure in the SH Monster Arts line with a light up feature, and to be honest, she is kind of obscure in North America. However, if you actually followed along for the release of this figure, there was a huge push for the North American market to get this made, and guess what? She happened. Now do keep in mind that she basically was rushed into production because it's going to be a retool of the Kyoto Biolante model kit. That should be a testament to how quick Bandai worked to make this figure happen. In the number one spot, a figure that I really rallied to get made, Biolante, because it's kind of impressive. So there you have it, folks, my top five favorite SH Monster Arts figures, and I gotta be honest with you, over time, that may change, because uh, who knows what's gonna get released next? Are we gonna maybe have an Orga? Are we gonna have a Titanosaurus? Maybe show a King Ghidorah? Who knows? It definitely does look pretty dang sweet for the outlook of this line, and uh, maybe we'll get some obscure characters one day. One day, anyway. Anyway, I would like to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, so please make a comment to let me know what you would like to see in the SH Monster Arts line, and I want to hear your top five favorite figures. As well, to end out the video, I want to say thanks so much to all my patrons who've helped out this month. You do make these kind of videos possible because I do get a little extra spare time to play around with what I think I can upload. And then we're gonna go ahead and have that end card that's gonna pop up on your screen, so this way you can maybe check out another video while you wait for the next one to upload, or maybe subscribe or check out the good old fashioned Teespring store. All right, folks, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll catch ya in the next video.